What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player training guide. Today we are taking a look at the epics and let's be honest, these are probably, I would say, the most hyped about epics in terms of strikers. I know we've got David Villa who's up first here. We also have Samuel Eto'o and we do have Morientes. So David Villa does go to a 99 overall just on his card alone. And of course, Samuel Leto, you know what you're going to get here with him. Like the, the kind of meta at the moment, lads, we'll get into the training guides and review in a second, right? But the kind of meta at the moment has shifted for me football 2023, but it's still about directness. If you can be direct up front and be able to kind of like score the minute you get a chance on a fast break or on a counter or just a bit of quick build up play. Yes, you can do target man. We'll get into that as well, which I think a lot of people are still missing out on having a target man as kind of a double edged sword. If you are not working it on the ground well enough, you can actually mix it up for corners and knock ons, you know, crosses. We will get into that as well. Um, and I will have a future video, but let's crack on straight away with the training guides um, as we see here. So you've got the three boys you can spin from as normal. This is kind of the pattern now that these are dropping on the Mondays. My throat's a bit raspy as well, so apologies for that. But um, you've got the player of the weeks on Thursday. You've got the team selections and anything that comes there. They're going to be double dropping on the Thursday. And then you also have the Monday drop, which seems to be these guys. So you've got David Villa. David Villa, you've got Samuel Etou. And you have Morientes as well as these boys. So I will focus on all of these, but I will do a separate video for these guys because I already did kind of a preview of it uh, on the channel the last day, right? So let's start with Morientes because he's probably the less, uh, the less kind of exciting on the surface kind of uh, kind of player, right? But we'll have a look at his booster straight off, and this is a similar booster that I think we're going to get to Yang Collar when he is released as well, which is I'm very excited about. He's my kind of main guy I'm going to be looking for. But Morientes is kind of a similar player without the height. You know, that's kind of where he's going to be going with his strengths and uh, a couple of weaknesses as well that you can see there. Straight off the rip, acceleration and balance are just, yeah, I mean, they're just no-go zones really um, if you're going to be using him. You know, a lot of people will buy Lewandowski or they'll buy Morientes or whatever, Harry Kane, and they'll try and use him as Romario. I'm like, oh, I can't dribble, you know, it's terrible, whatever. But what I think eFootball24 has done is once you kind of crack... Uh, you know, what players work for you, the game does kind of change. There is a bit of a skill gap there in picking the team. So maybe you just haven't found the right players yet for you and for your style. Um, but hopefully, you know, some of these guys do it. So we are going to take a look at a build for Morientes here. Okay, so we are over on eFootballDB.com. They have updated the levels this morning. So the best thing about Morientes, lads, is going to not be his stats or anything like that. It's going to be his actual player skills. You've got aerial superiority, first time shot, heel trick, super sub, and of course heading, right, with acrobatic finishing. So you know that if you've got a player that has got aerial superiority, heading, and acrobatic finishing, you know that the minute that you get a chance in the air if a ball comes in, you're just, you know, you're just headering it, you're just trying to volley it, you're trying to get the ball in to the back of the net with just very little input for Mar from Morientes. You won't be dribbling, you won't be passing, you won't be build-up play, you won't be hold-up play. There's nothing really to him, right? He is down as a fox in the box, but you will be essentially playing him as a target man, an aerial threat, and that's why we've trained him up this way. Now, I will do a specific training guide. There is another version of Morientes that I will show you guys uh, in another quick video, uh, because I know that you do like the training guides, the specific training guides, but there with Morientes, I think that that's a ready-made, you know, destructor and uh, disruptor up front. I mean, he's just something different. And the thing is, man, right, if you've got a player like Romario or Eto or Dabavia or Michael Owen or Mbappe or whoever you're using up front, no matter if you started playing yesterday or six months ago or a year ago, if it's not working for you on the ground, always have a plan B. I will be doing a video on that where you kind of switch it up and throw something different at your opponent. That's Look, he's been defending you for 70 minutes. You haven't scored. You've got one goal. And you can just throw something on that really disrupts what he's trying to do defensively. 94 offensive awareness, 96 header. And obviously with the boost as well on top of those stats, we're going to be getting those in plus two, plus four with the manager boost and the max booster effect as well. So his jumping is going to go up. His physical contact is going to go up. His finishing is going to be, you know, up at the 90 zone, 92 zone, and the heading is going to be pretty much maxed out at that. But that's what you're using him for. Like, you're not going to be run and gun with Morientes. So if you're using him as run and gun, you're going to be disappointed, in my opinion. So we've also got Samuel Eto'o as well. One of my favorite players growing up watching him for Barcelona it was just such a demon up front. So fast, so quick. And of course, at his Inter Milan days as well, 
His booster is actually agility. So that's going to give an increase to speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina. And this is where the boosters really come to the fore here now. And I'm going to show you why. I still think that Samuel Eto'o is not going to be massively, massively, massively overpowered like Romario, Michael Owen, and even Davavia, who we'll show in a second, because of one key stat, and that is the balance. It's the same at Morientes. His balance does, just goes to about 74, 75. Now, Eto'o will be getting the boost, right? So he'll be getting plus two um, to his base core stats with this max uh, booster here that will bring his speed and acceleration and stamina into the 80 zone. I mean, his acceleration is nearly at 90 on level one, and he's got 32 levels to go, which is, it's crazy. On a wavering form, he's got uh, brilliant player skills as well. I would definitely try and, if you are running gunning with Eto, I would definitely try and put on one touch pass because his passing is dire. And I do think that the passing makes a bit of a difference now as well. Uh, especially if you've got one touch pass, that's all you're going to be really doing with Samuel Eto. You know, touch and go, spin off the shoulder, and boom, a shot on goal, right? But when we actually take a look at the training guide here, I'm going to show you a couple of interesting things. Now, bear in mind that you're going to be getting the plus two to the speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina, okay, when we're building this card because it makes a difference, right? So when we actually head on over here, we're going to see with this build that we have got our balance to 77, even though we've popped 12 into our dexterity. So he's got 98 acceleration. That's going to go into the 100 zone with the boost. So he's going to be over 100 acceleration. That's probably a little bit overkill, but you do want it as high as possible with this build for your balance. I mean, these builds that I do here um, are kind of, you know, like basically the easiest version of a toe to use um that you you have everything with, that you want with him you've got your finishing you've got your offensive awareness you've got your dribbling at 86 which is a bit spicy we probably don't need to go that high with it but his stat there type possession that's going to be a difference maker if you get that type possession it's probably one of the most important stats in the game at the moment for running gun players if you don't run and gun a lot with Samuel Eto'o and you like to play a little bit more football then I would say that he's probably better off coming off the bench field with just raw power pace and speed um but that is a fairly good build for him you still have your finishing offensive awareness for the runs for the ai and for scoring goals and your acceleration and speed is going to be blistering on this player um who's got you know a nice height nice weight and he's down as a goal poacher so he'll be making incredible runs for you um there hasn't been any other version of samuel Eto in the game that has a different play style but this one looks decent it's just about the balance there man that's going to be the real balance and act pardon the pun but that is going to be the real balance to this card because if you've got 85 plus balance it does make a difference if you've got 85 plus type possession it does make a difference so just bear that in mind this guy is a machine a goal scoring machine and he's going to have just raw pace um but i definitely do think that that balance really kind of limits the card down to not put him into the superhero kind of you know completely broken stratosphere so to speak right so that brings us on to our last which is david via and as i said i love david via i loved him at valencia i love when he was playing at barcelona he was just a beast of a player now he gets a very interesting max booster effect which is shooting and it increases ball control finishing kicking power and physical contact so it's a very strange booster for a winger right but obviously his main position is going to be striker i would not play him out wide he's not fast enough he's not rapid enough he doesn't have that feel about him such as the likes of dembele or the top 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 wingers that can just blitz you um you know so davavi is definitely best suited playing through the middle kind of reminds me of son if you're looking for a player to compare to him it's kind of like son that he's down as a left winger but he better plays better as a center forward and for david via lads he's probably the pick of the pack i didn't think that he would be but his standard form is you know it, it does balance him out a little bit i would 100 percent again put one touch pass on him he does have double touch and soul control which is very nice he has chip shot control first time shot long range curler and outside curler which is beautiful for this card and double touch but i definitely 100 would put one touch pass on samuel samuel Eto and david via and then of course as well as this we're going to take a look at the base build so ball control and finishing are extremely high as well as kicking power very very high straight off the rip so what build have we gone with well i've gone for a fairly simple build strictly because oh, we're going to be playing him as a center forward and look at the rating here he's 100 overall as a center forward when you play him or as an ss right so it won't show up on his card it's similar to tommy yasu who's down as a right back but plays better as a center back davafia as a center forward is going to be a menace lads right if you are able to dribble without having to have his dribbling stats extraordinarily high right we've popped eight into it you can go very 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 high with the dexterity 
which is going to bring up your acceleration. Offensive awareness is going to be maxed out. You're going to have 93 finishing. Um, that's going to be boosted. And of course, you're going to have the balance stat there, which is the big one for this card. The big one for this card, lads, is tight possession and offensive awareness because he's a prolific winger and you're going to be playing him in CF. You need his stats to override his position and his player ID. That's kind of where you need to go with this. So look, we will have a second build for Davavia. I'm going to show you a more kind of unique build for him, but it's kind of dependent on your play style with long ball counter or quick counter. But this build straight off the rip is an absolute beast of a card. He's going to go to 100 overall as a CF through the middle. And I think that he'll just be very, very hard to stop. So that is it for me. Let's slightly longer video but we are back we will be streaming as well today so make sure you pop in and we will be going through the other cards that will be there as well and i will have some gp alternative and specific training guides where we show two or three different versions of these cards as well uh quite soon so until then i will talk to you in a bit don't forget to subscribe peace